Oh, but Lasaga's injured. What's <gasps> going on, Felix? No! Oh. What? Oh, He's what? got no! 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 Hello, welcome along to LS11. It's the dreaded international November break, but uh, don't worry, do not fear. The two Toms are here. We're going to help you through it with a Leeds v Leeds, all Leeds aren't we, game of FIFA 18. Hello, yes. Tom. Hello. Let's check out the teams. Um, yes. Oh, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right, Tom. Good, it's an international break, which is boo. Boo. Boo, boo Cara. Boo Cara, that. Uh, so we've gone for Leeds v Leeds. I'm on the right, you're on the left, so I'm uh, you're in white, I'm in black. Yes. Um, so you've gone for a completely new formation. Yes, changed it up completely. Uh, I've started Felix in goal because you put Lonergan. Makes it up, a back three of Cooper, Janssen, Ailing. So why are there only a back three, though? Uh, because, because Leeds are weak at the back. Yeah, but they're very good. Up, like, you've got a size is good. Alioski has had a tough week, but class is permanent, form is temporary or something. So... <laughs> They're very good going forward, so why not just utilise that and go for it a la Simon Grayson years when they were losing 6-4, but, you know, okay, it, it was going for it. So I've gone three at the back, Cooper, Janssen, Aylin. Those, those are your three, for me, those are yeah. your first three defenders on the team sheet. Vieira, O'Kane as your midfield. There's variation. Alioski and Dallas providing the width. Saez and Hernandez being the attacking midfielders. And Lasaga up front. Because so, there's no real other striker. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think I, on the bench I've put Chibitsky as well and oh. Ekuban who should be back after the international break uh, we've not seen much of them so I might bring them on to give them a chance uh, but that's the uh, that's the variation of the 3-5-2 that I've gone for well I've gone closer to home with what we've sort of seen but I've gone with a bit more I think a bit more of an attack right uh, so obviously Berardi, Cooper, Janssen and Ailing, the sort of back four we've come to expect obviously Lonergan like you say I've kept with Lonergan because I do feel he is still better than Viedvold despite the howler we'll at Brentford we'll talk about that but yeah, yeah. Um, Vieira and O'Kane I was yes, considering yes. Phillips I was okay. considering Phillips because Phillips has actually been pretty good with O'Kane uh, but I thought Vieira is just a bit better attacking wise and he goes for a few more shots I think I've found I Phillips think. is good for impact I think yeah I think that's what yeah. I, I think that's probably the best the best I'd have him coming off the bench and everything and maybe like at the hour mark making an impact. Size, obviously. Yeah. The, the first first name in the team sheet at the moment other than maybe Lasaga. Lasaga, obviously, because he's basically the only striker. Yeah. I'm going with Alioski on the right. Okay. But I'm still a bit sceptical because re recent games hasn't really been there. Yeah. And of course, Roof on the left. Okay. But I, I might even change it where if I bring on Chibitsky or something, I might move him or something. But Roof, when we've seen him up front, he's all right. He was okay at Brentford. Not so much previous games, though. But okay. I'm going to stick with him because I think he needs the longer run. And, yeah. and if he builds up confidence, like I said at the beginning of the season, he could have a terrific, terrific run. That's fair but enough. Yet to be proven. But yeah. I've gone with it. So, like I said, I think it's a bit more attacking than Leeds currently, maybe, mm -hmm. according to like flash scores or wherever. Um, but, yeah, so quite similar in certain areas. For instance... We've both gone for Alioski on the right wing. Vieira and O'Kane in the midfield. Yeah. Lasaga up top, of course. Cooper and Janssen, your centre-backs. Well, obviously, Ailing on the right. Mm -hmm. um, Cooper's a left-back for you, though, obviously. It's like a yeah. left centre-back, isn't it? Yeah, So yeah. he's left-footed, whereas Ailing's an actual right-back. I feel that they're, obviously, they, they're more comfortable. Janssen, your man in the middle. Dallas, for me, on left-mid. He's been playing left-back as oh, well. And you know so what? he could yeah. provide some defensive cover if needed as well. And I think Alioski... For a flair player, his defensive work's not that bad. Yeah. So they could, it, despite me looking like it's seven attackers, which it pretty <laughs> much is, uh, I feel that Alioski and Dallas could provide that bit of defensive support as well. For me, I think Alioski is better when he's attacking and when he's oh, like, yeah. when he's like Tweedledum with Tweedledee with size. Um, obviously, you've got Han Hernandez in there. I can bring Hernandez off the, pit, uh, off the bench for mine. Yes. So, uh, again, another bit of an impact sub which we'll see but let's get on with let's it let's go right and let's start with the Brentford game a 3-1 loss yes. it was not a good performance no for half hour they were good which one am I uh, for half hour they were very good and it's easy to forget that and you know that's the disappointing thing um, being undone here that's probably the most disappointing thing about the whole game um, but again 
It, it was labelled must win. Leeds didn't win. Yeah, I don't know why Thomas Christians has said that. So, why would you say that? Now at the East Point Arena. All Leeds, aren't we? All Leeds, yeah. So um, now what? That's the question. Now, now what? Now Leeds didn't win. They're now in tenth. They've gone from top to tenth in two months. So this is isn't this the same amount of points they had under Gary Monk this time last season? Yeah, but it, you feel it could have been so much more. Look at that. It, they're literally just doing the same. Oh, they were until then. It. <laughs> They were top and they've shown potential. And that's the more frustrating thing. And it's on the back of a massive, long losing streak as well. Yeah, it's the thing. So seven losses out so, of nine. So, you know... Nine. So seven out of nine is bad. Yeah. And that's the thing. I said it in the last one, in the last uh, game we were talking about. This is now form. Yeah. And it's it, not good. It's atrocious. It's absolutely atrocious at the moment. And they need to find a way to get out of it quick. Because it's Gary Monk's Middlesbrough next, and oh, there are a lot of members of the Leeds hierarchy that you imagine won't want Gary Monk's Middlesbrough to come in and turn them over. I tell you what, I'm very excited for that because just think about everything last season, the way that the exits happened, and now after an international break, both teams maybe not doing as well as they were expected because Middlesbrough. The amount they've spent, you'd be thinking they should be doing better. Yeah, and obviously with Gary, Gary Monk. I think it's going to make for a fiery atmosphere at Ellen Road. And the thing is, as well, we've seen it be a pretty decent atmosphere to go at Ellen Road recently this season because of the amount they've sold, like 30,000 on average, isn't it? Something like yeah. that. Uh, you expect it's probably going to drop. But for Middlesbrough, I'm really hoping that it doesn't... Well, it's the circumstance, isn't it? It's Gary Monk's Middlesbrough, the whole situation with Leeds in the summer. Um, and Leeds are desperate. Leeds desperately need a win. Like, it's desperation point now. Um, and that's and obviously Gary Monk as well won't want to come to Leeds he'll want to get one over on Leeds as well to prove that he's gone on he made the right decision in leaving to go to Borough um, it's a lot of circumstances to it which should make an absolute belting game Yeah. Um, you hope Sunday as well uh, TV game isn't it so it's interesting how they reply but Middlesbrough starting to hit form as they should the amount they've spent they should be where they are now oh no I've been under they should be fifth at least that should be what is he doing oh, oh Lasaga's injured what's going on Felix no oh. oh. what oh, he's got no 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 oh my word it's been crowded out there Lasaga Lasaga an interesting one as well they're playing to him like the big target man but they I think he prefers the ball at his feet oh, I don't think no. they're giving him that service at the moment Pablo! Oh! Yeah, Lasaga for me, he's obviously got all right goals. He takes plenty, plenty of shots, but I don't know. Maybe it's his work rate off the ball. It doesn't, yeah, he's it's not impressing me miss. overly. Um, the thing with Lasaga is, you got to remember his record. It's pretty good. And you think he scored, what, five, six? I think it's five. Yeah. Leeds, since he's come, Leeds have been in a bit of bad form. Majority of it. It's a new country, a new league. He's adjusted okay to it and a it. new father he's a new father yeah as he's well. adjusted okay to it um, it's just that look at the pace of Alioski I've always I always liked that <gasps> oh Alioski Nottingham Forest-esque that wasn't it get the ball come on boys we want more cut that cuts inside not really seen this from Alioski recently what a hit Lonergan if you have a howler like that again Get, what a hit. Get home. I don't know. Lodding, he can't stop those. I tell you what, three goalkeepers couldn't have saved that, as Redders would say. So, Lonergan or Viedvold, where are you on, where are you on that at the moment? Lonergan. Why, why Lonergan? Well, if you're Andy Lonergan... Oh, my God, I've given it away already. Oh, what If a you're save. Andy Lonergan... You, yes, it was terrible. Terrible game against Brentford. But then it's... Oh, no, Lasaga header. Oh. oh, come on! Um... You've got to go, well, hang on, I know I didn't perform well and I made mistakes, but that's one game. How come... Oh, no. Oof. How How is it that I have one bad game and I'm dropped? But after a number of solid performances, it's easy to forget that. And yet, Viedvald, who had numerous oh, oh, bad yeah. games... He did, yeah. He kept... Came back, in, <laughs> came back into the fold against Leicester and again was bad. Yep. Yeah. One bad game and he's back in. It's like, well, hang on. 
you know, Lonergan, it's easy to forget that he has been very good in recent weeks before that Brentford game. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's a bit harsh to then drop him based on one performance. Oh, won the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Disgrace. Is he going to go for it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Nowhere near. No, no. Into the two tiered South Sand right Lord, there. Lord. Oh, dear. Um,. I'd keep with him. I think Lonergan looks more confident. Bit of a safer pair of hands, despite the blunder. Well, yeah, and it is that. It is one game. It is bad. Yes, fair enough. But it's like, you can't drop him on one bad performance when Felix is put in numerous bad performances. Yep. It's already the answer. What is going on there? I am so sorry, no, Leeds fans. Size. Good Lord. And I don't think Peacock fouls the answer yet. No, it's, and it's also, is, is, his loan, is it loan with York up? I think he, he's back after the international break. Um, but it's oh, quite what a ball oh, he's not going to get that no oh he has I think it's going to be it's a big ask for him going look the team's out of form it's a very big game we need you to go and goal you know it, it could actually it could be make or break for him in a way because if he has a bad performance which through no fault of his own he might not quite be ready I know he's played first team already when he was needed yeah when was that QPR at home I think where it was a silly oh he was yeah silly yeah. penalty or I giveaway think it was, was it the post Rotherham game uh, where like Silvestri I think it might have been that one or I might be completely bl- blurred in my uh, timeline but I think it was QPR and he did well but I think it's a case of you know he is still learning the trade he is still young one for the future Leeds obviously rate him quite highly Yeah. so don't rush him in don't rush him in don't make him a desperation type play what the um, because you know it, it's not going to help <sighs> his development really no. in the grand scheme of things definitely not oh, well, so we both agree Keep Lonergan in there. Yeah, keep Lonergan. Uh, where, where else is there sort of contention at the moment? Maybe defence? Centre-back, central midfield. In fact, all over the shop, really, bar maybe Lasogga up front and Saiz. <laughs> I think everywhere's up for debate, really. Um, oh, he's got that. He has as well. Go on, Alioski. Win that battle. Disgrace. Um, and the centre-backs, of course, the full-backs as well. Um who, who comes in do you rest Luke Halen for example yeah he needs a rest I think but I think maybe the international he's, he's, break might help yeah true but he's not, he's kind of been without anything uh, without a break good lord come on Says. No, he's touched that out no. yes Gianni what are you doing da, 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 da. Um, so a lot of choices to make um, Christian it's a big game for him it's a big game now they need to turn it round um, the November international break I think it obviously will help them uh, obviously, you need to get out of the, the sort of the frying pan for a sec. Hopefully, not into the fr- into the fire when they come back for the Borough game. But I think two weeks away from sort of the next game, worrying about it. I just genuinely don't think TC helped himself by saying it was a must win. No, and you know, I, he's not exempt from criticism. Right? No, he's not. He's, he's not. not. But I think he has been unfair. The amount of criticism aimed at him has been quite unfair recently. In terms of, I know they're in bad form. And I, know, and I think, you know, it's right that they're not playing well. It's going. However, oh. I think Victor Orta has got off very lightly. Yeah, with definitely. A lot of the criticism. For him to say that they didn't need to do any business in January. Well. It was a bit like, wow, Leeds, really? Leeds have obviously tried to do their business on the cheap. Right, that's how it's, that's it. Compared no, to the rest absolutely, of the league. Absolutely. You got 15 million in Chris Wood and you're thinking, right. Seven for Taylor. So, yeah, I, forgot, I completely Taylor. forgot about Charlie Taylor. Um, and you're thinking, right, okay, reinvest that. And they have not enough. A percentage. Yeah, a percentage of it, yeah. And, and I'm understanding, like, for instance, they got rid of Rob Green. There's been controversy about that. And, you know, oh, you know, Rob Green, that sh- he should have stayed. She should have been the number one. Well, he's gone to Huddersfield now. We've got to get over it, right? But it was, like, all about maybe balancing of the books and seeing, you know, players being on maybe a, le- a level wage scale or whatever. Irregardless of that, you keep your best players. You got rid of your best goalkeeper. You got arguably rid of your best centre back in Kyle Bartlett, yeah. but that was obviously on loan. And you got rid of your best striker. Yeah, but it's it's the fact that Christensen and we say J. Roy Grot's the example because he keeps bringing J. Roy Grot on, and frankly, he's not good enough at the moment. Okay, that's the thing. Yeah, but he's still very inexperienced. He's not played many he's senior raw. games. He's yeah. raw. He's raw. And he probably could benefit from development squad, right? However, to TC's defence, if he turns around and goes, Lasog is knackered, I yeah, can't play yeah, Lasog yeah. anymore. 
and or who can change this game? Who can in the forwards department? Who can? I don't who can? know. Do you don't play? Know. Do you then start playing Roof up front? Then you got to change your system because you can't play when Roof played up front at Cardiff, was it? Yeah. They're trying to play it to him like Lasaga. It's like Roof He's isn't going to win headers no. against the likes of Sol Bambrin defensive mid. <laughs> They're two centre backs. He's never going to win them. No. And it's a difficult one. It really is. For me, I think uh, it's one at Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm winning. Ellis eleven, hello. Hello. Um, I'm winning. But for me, I think bringing J. Roy Gron like the past three home games, it hasn't worked. He doesn't, What's the point? He doesn't do and anything. So, uh, what, someone got in touch ha- using the hashtag Leeds United Live. You can do it even off even uh, off season. Well, I check it quite a lot. So. And during the uh, uh, obviously the international break and everything, and Ellis eleven, those hashtags. Someone put on Leeds United Live once. It was something like, okay, so if J. Roy Grot is the solution. Or the answer, sorry. Yeah. What is the question? I don't know. In, you know what? I think they're not using Grot right. Give him the ball and just make him run at people. He's strong. He, got, he, he's like, strong. he seems to like that. When he gets the ball, go, look, give it to him at his feet and get him to leg it at the fullbacks. Because mm. you can tell they, they don't like that. He's done that. And when he has looked good, it's because he has done that. And I think that's they're not playing to him. If that's if Grot, if obviously if they want to bring Grot on, etc., fine. But you've got to play to what he needs. Give him the ball at his feet and tell him, run, just run at people. Because you can tell they're terrified. He's a big lad. Defenders will get scared of big strikers with a bit of pace, power on them. Mm. Oh! Second time you've hit the bar. If he's legging at you, you're a defender, you're going to panic a bit. A big lad with yeah. some power, pace on him, is running at you with a ball. Oh, what do I do? Do I go to him? He, he'll, he's probably stronger than me. He'll, you know, he'll, he'll out-muscle me. Do I dive in for the tackle? Do I not? It, it's making them think, oh. Oof. And that's why I just don't think they're playing to him at the moment. If they if they want to keep using him, you've got to use him to his strengths. Yeah, definitely. I think um, I think midfield-wise, you've still got some options. For instance, Calvin and O'Kane. Uh, oh, obviously, Alioski as well. Vieira, but... Vieira stops Vieira, though. Yeah. The only real starter, like we said, is Samuel Says. Well, because he's just class. He is it? absolutely class. So why, why, what if Rick Zavart has obviously got it right there? Where's he got it wrong for you? Striking department. Um, Grot, Chibitsky, we've barely seen. Oh. Um, you know they they may come in. They may have the greatest you know reports, whatever. But oh. Oh, great. Here we go. First time cross. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Um, Grot is being, now being decided that we need to use him. And Ekuban, again, is coming back. So but, you know, you Hopefully we we'll, see, we'll see how he truly does but get on, but he's he, been injured. He so. doesn't strike me as a similar striker to Lasaga, right, in building whatever. But that's kind of Chris good, Wood, they it? sold for 50. Yeah, but again like Grot they're not really playing they just and when Roof played there they just played to him like the Saga it didn't work obviously um, striking department in terms of Chris Wood the complaint I've got is for the Saga they looked at him to work to be with Chris Wood right, right in the summer they tried to get him on loan decided you know what we're not paying that much for a player who might not necessarily start mm-hmm. you know, in terms of wages fair enough so he was deemed to be good enough to be second to Chris Wood Chris Wood was sold. They then went and got him on loan, right? And this is nothing against Lasaga. I don't. I have nothing against him. I. I, I don't mind him. I think he, he's, you know, a decent striker. But then they decide that he's good enough to replace him. And you're thinking, well, hang, hang on. No, if no. If he's no. one minute good enough to be a replacement, he is not. For me, he was not. But that's going that's to essentially he is judging. not going to replace 30 goals a season in him. And but that's what they saw in him. They I know, him and it's nine. wrong. That is wrong. Oh, I thought capitalised on the defence. Um, there, I just don't think there was enough experience in this league. It costs more. And I understand it. Fair enough. If you can go and get quality, i.e. Samuel size, if you signed him for the championship, it would have cost three times as much. Oh, come on. But you need to have, like, in the summer, I've said this, they need, if they have a championship experience centre-back, like an Aidan Flint that they looked no, at see, the I was gonna, Exactly the, the player I was going to say. What about him? It'll cost you, but if you want to get somewhere, you've got to pay some money. Right. Unfortunately, that's how it is. Maybe you might pay a bit more than you think he's worth. Mm. But if you, if that's what's needed, they need to get him up front. A striker who is championship experienced, 
can be real competition for La Soga. The name I've mentioned for the system leads play is Leonardo Azura at Leicester. Right, okay. He's obviously similar build, similar... Ah, th- oh, size of scored here. Oh, get in. Um, oh. <laughs> I thought you broke the PS4 controller. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. He uh, do- doesn't do that. Leonardo Azura, similar striker. They can't afford him. He's not in, He's not playing at Leicester. Yeah, but you can't afford him. Premier League, I'm how, telling you, you probably can't. How much is Leonardo Azura worth? Should we get FIFA? <laughs> I bet he's worth under 10 million. Okay. Because he's not playing at Leicester. Claude Puel, obviously, if he doesn't fancy him, then what's the point? If Leeds come along and say, here's eight million pounds for a strike, you don't even make your bench. Well, what about if, for instance, let's say, Bri- let's say Bristol m- moved away from where they currently are in the table. What's wrong with Bobby Reid? But I think it all depends if you're going to a like a Bristol City. Yeah. You need you, no point if they're also in the playoffs, right? Because they're not going to sell. You need to look at it and try and poach. And if Leeds can stay in up and around playoffs, yeah. right? If they can stay within touching distance, you can go to maybe, I know it's a championship, look towards the other end of the league and try and take someone and go, look, we want promotion. Your team clearly isn't going to get there. But I, I think Leeds need to a bit, maybe, maybe they need more of the pulling power that. It is Leeds, and we're now being run to a, a, a you know to a better extent than we were. Yeah, I get that. I think it's thirty thousand possibly per week. You you know you want to play in front of that. You want to get to the Premier League with us rather than maybe, for instance, your Bristol Cities or whoever. Well, yeah. no offense to the Bristol Cities, but well, Leeds United is an easy sell for a player. Yeah, it should. But be. they need to be a good team as well. Yeah, there's been a belief over the past few years that because it's Leeds, they can get anyone. It's like, well, no, no unfortunately, not at all. They are, you know. Leeds are always going to be a big club. They're a big city, big club, big attendances, etc. However, if you're at the bottom of the championship, bottom end of the championship, top end championship players aren't going to be interested because they want success. Yeah. And if Leeds are up in the playoffs, then great. Then you can sell it. You can go big club, big attendances, big fan base. And, and currently doing well. Currently in the fight for promotion. Come on! Oh! And that's how you get people to come. Well, we'll wait and see. Obviously, January is a hell of a long way away, and uh, I'm sure we will talk about any possible linked players and possible, uh, you know, transfers and everything close to the time. But right now, let us know in the comments and stuff. <laughs> let us know in the comments uh, what you uh, think Leeds need to do in January and what you think they're going to do post November international break. But uh, thanks very much for watching as well. Uh, we're, we're not finished now. We're not finished, we're not finished yet, finished. but we've still got a set. Uh, <laughs> don't go anywhere we've not actually plugged in obviously listen to Leeds United Live but you can listen to for instance Yorkshire Football Show uh, every yeah, Wednesday there is no Leeds United Live um, no 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 but you can listen to for instance Should the be. Yorkshire Football Show we're going to bring on Hernandez Pablo Hernandez let's try Phillips um, I've gone so you, can listen, sub. you can listen to uh, Yorkshire Football Show for instance with Stats Mark and Redders from Wednesday find out Facebook and whatever if you want wow that was really oh, just <coughs> find it yourself Football panel, six to eight on a Thursday. It's a good show, isn't it? It's all right. It's a good show. We're on it. It's a good show. Yeah. FL72, Tuesday, six or seven. All right, That's give it a rest. Good mate. show. No, give it a rest. They're all good shows. Tune in. It's Radio so, Yorkshire. We're doing Tune things. in all the time. We're all right. We're all great shows. Apart from when I misspell Yorkshire with York, York higher. I do that a lot, you know. I don't know. It's one of those things. I, do I, just, I check. type too quick. Yeah. Click. Oh, click. Where's, where's Instant he been? Instant impact. Where's, Matthias Click. Where's he been? He's not happy judging by his Twitter likes. Yeah, I know. I saw uh, Cooper had one of those little injury pluses. I thought yeah. I'd go in on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, but Mateus Klitsch, where's he been? That's the thing, though. Leeds brought in, what, 13, 14? How many players did they bring in this summer? 15, I think. 15. Instead of doing that, maybe get five and double the wages or double the, you know, go for the double the wage value or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get quality rather than quantity. Know, cl- Have they gone for quality over a uh, quantity over quality? Potentially. Poten- oh, that is rubbish. Um, if it's Felix, it would have gone in there. No, um, but no, if it was Lonergan at Brentford. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's annoying. And it's like, well, Matthias Click, hang on. He's uh, he came from FC Twenty, highly rated Polish international. Why is he not playing? Exactly. A good Why football- is he not playing? He's a good footballer, obviously. Why is he not in? And at Burnley, he looked absolutely c- class. You look wonderful. 1-1, one, one. we can't end it on 1-1. Should one, have one. penalties? No. Let's have penalties. It's Leeds v Leeds. It's not exactly realistic, Well, is in which case, let's go extra time. Golden goal. Done. Golden goal. There we go. Right, there we go. 
There we go. <laughs> Grab what it. was Felix doing there? <laughs> right, don't click. I'll do it. Gary goals. Gary golden goal. Right. Here we go. Yeah, they've gone for quantity over quality, as we were saying. Yeah, and I think... Oh, ho, ho! Let know you're there, boys. No! Here's another one. Chubitsky, where's he? Where is he? Um, well, he came on for the Leicester game and apparently did sod Got all. Two from stats. I know, sat, stats went stats in. Stats went in. Stats ain't <laughs> happy at the moment. Uh, no, to put good old stats, like you can follow him at LUFC Stats on Twitter. Good uh, good rants on there if you want some. He is not happy at the moment. He's it's not fed, a happy uh, bunny. Apart from when he's on the Yorkshire football show and he's uh, surrounded by the Radio Yorkshire family. Yeah. Or the gang, as we like to well, call ourselves. Yeah. Oh, what a terrible pass. Come on, Ronaldo. No! Oh, there we go. But again, it is that. It's a lot of players you go, we've not seen them. Yeah. What's the point? When, if you, you can't bring in a Matthias Click, who's obviously an international for Poland, and not even put him on the bench at times. Are you worried about, for instance... Uh, oh, Alioski again. Are you worried about Janssen or, or Kane in these uh, upcoming internationals or anything like that? Come on, clear it. Yeah. No, I think they'll be okay. Hopefully they'll... Uh, have successful ones. Yes! Yes! Ronaldo Vieira. Because the worst part is, I was like, every yes. time you get it, you're just going for long shots, and I knew it were coming. And boom! FIFA would not allow like a golden goal to go on like for half an hour. So He's I was. Been just, done. What is Look going at on that, there? Ronaldo Vieira. He could have. Oh. Oh, he should have got to that. He should have got to that. Dis- Behave. Despicable. No way near getting that. Look. No, not He could have got it. to that. I think he could have got to that. Not having it. What a goal. Whatever. Best goal FIFA has ever seen. Well, Leeds win and Leeds lose. End of. Three points gain, though. No, it's not a real thing. Oh, can we send it in to the TFL? Well, we? no, let's send it to Thomas Christensen. Uh, at, yeah. I don't even know his actual Twitter handle, but it's something like T. 9. T. Christensen 9, I think. Yeah, well, uh, we'll send Do it that. to him. 3 5 2, bit of a variation. That! F- I'm fuming at that. Should have scored that. 3 5 2. Um, two midfielders, two right and left midfield, attacker midfielders, striker. Let's go for it. Let's go all out. Look, it wins as long as you play golden goal every week. Yeah. Or, or just you know win win football games. Yeah, times. that'd be good. Anyway, thanks very much Fingers for joining crossed. us. We still like you <laughs> on uh, LS11. Uh, you can uh, join us every week. Make sure you subscribe, like, do whatever you do, and uh, have yourself a lovely day. We will see you shortly.